It's the video y'all been asking for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go ahead and finally show you guys exactly how I go ahead and edit my self-portraits. No Photoshop, no paid programs, no computer. It's all on your phone. So if you wanna know my tips and tricks, then just keep on watching. No idea what I'm doing. It's been seven minutes and I'm just talking. What the f Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally gonna go ahead and deliver to y'all how I edit my photos. Okay, so I'm a little nervous to go ahead and make this video only because the very first part of this two part video. Um, I uploaded it like two months ago and within the last week and a half it just all of a sudden blew up out of nowhere. So I'm so glad that you guys are making your quarantine the best by getting creative, doing some self portraits. Like that makes me happy because that's how I kind of get away from the daily stresses. So I do want to say thank you guys for all the support on my last video. I really do appreciate it. Now before we get started I do want to answer a couple questions that I kept seeing on that last video. Now the butterflies that I used were from Michael's. They were purchased at Michael's craft store. You can also buy them at Hobby Lobby and I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon as well. So for all y'all people that understand that there's a quarantine going on. <laughs> um, Amazon has these. I think if you type fake butterfly, like a bunch of them should show up. Don't know the exact quality on Amazon, but these ones from Michaels are very nice. It's almost like they're made out of like a feather. And how I put them in my hair was I hot glued a bobby pin and then it just made it like super easy to put in. But also the backdrop stand you can find on Amazon as well. Just type like photography kit uh, or photography background kit. But hopefully that answers your guys' questions that you had on my last video. Um, yeah, Amazon for everything, girl. Just go ahead and search. <laughs> the backdrop cloths are also called a muslin. I'll type that right across the screen. Um, but you can honestly use a bed sheet and just clamp it. All this stuff you could always find alternatives for, you guys. Um, so if you don't have the money for it, don't stress. Use natural lighting and go outside. Take a bed sheet outside. Like, there's so many different options you can have. Okay, so finally, let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how I do my workflow when it comes to photography. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I edited the cloud photo right here that you guys are such a fan of, and a couple other photos as well to kind of show you guys your options when it comes to using these apps. But the first thing I want to do, let me go ahead and start a screen recording for y'all. All right, so these are some of my editing apps that I like to use. Unum helps me go ahead and plan out my Instagram layout and how I want it. I don't want to go into that during this video because that's not what this is about. But the three main photo editing apps that I do like to use are Airbrush, Lightroom, and PixArt. If all else fails, honestly just download Airbrush and PixArt because these two are literally my best friend. Airbrush helps with skin retouching, um, filters, like so many different things. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up first. And as you can see right here, they do have a premium version of this app. I've never used the premium version. I've all, always only ever used the free version. So we're gonna go ahead and click on library. All right, so the main thing that I like to use airbrush for is skin retouching. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up this photo right here. And as you can see, my skin's not perfect. Nobody's skin is perfect, honey. Like, I'm sorry to say, but we live in a world where I wanna say 99. 5% of photos are photoshopped in some way, whether it be color grading, skin retouching, um, body reshaping. So it's up to you how you use these programs, but this is what I do. So 
first things first, this is exactly what I love about this app, is the magic tool. So right when I open my photo, I click on the magic tool and this really just puts a general setting all across my image. You can fine tune any of these little icons to match what you want, such as the skin smoothing and as you can see right here, easy as that. Honestly, it makes you look just like perfect. I don't know how to describe it. It makes your skin look so soft but not overdone, not like to the extreme. So I go ahead and slide that over and there's also an automatic acne icon. You have to be careful with this just because it starts to remove things that aren't acne, but um, if you click on that, you can see the difference. I don't like it because it takes out my mole, so I prefer to do that by myself. And then we have teeth whitening, eye brightening, you can't really tell with that one. We do have a lip tint as well, just to kind of give a little bit more life into your lips. We have skin tone as well to like darken you, lighten you. With skin tone, I preferably use this just to kind of match um, or give myself a little bit more of a glow because sometimes in pictures I look really washed out. So we also have eye enlarge and we have face slim as well. And some of the things don't look right and that's okay. So you don't have to use it. but. Um, these are like some of the premium things. I don't use any of that. And we also have dark circles. And it kind of just smooths everything out. So with the skin smoothing, I don't ever suggest you to do it 100. Like it's just not going to look right. So I kind of stay around, I want to say like 70, 65. It really just depends on the picture. But as you can see right here, everything looks nice. You can still see texture on my skin, you guys. And that's important because you don't want to look like Play-Doh. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark right there. And this is what it looks like so far now i have a giant zit on my chin um well i had let's not jinx myself so i'm gonna click on the acne button and then we're gonna go right here you could do auto if you wanted but i'm not i just do i just make sure that this right here is clicked and then we're gonna start removing it and zoom out a little bit and you kind of want to get around the area just to kind of make everything blend my rule for photo editing is if it's not there permanently like if it's acne or a blemish or a bruise I erase it so once I have all the blemishes removed that I don't want in my photo anymore what I go ahead and do is click on this check mark right here this is the before a little bit ghostly a little bit pasty you know um, and this is the after everything's just more saturated the lips have a little bit more life my skin tone has more of that golden glow because you know, we indirect sunlight, honey. We want to be golden. You can also go ahead and use the light smooth on the rest of your body just to kind of make everything nice and soft. And then we're going to go ahead and hit this check mark right here. And there we go. Now, one other great thing about this app is the filters right here. Um, you click on it and there's a million and one different filters you can use. Some of them good, some of them not that great, but there are a few that are super cute, so you can just have fun with the filters. Um, sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't, but for today I'm going to save the filter without and just leave it how it is just with the skin retouching because I feel like that's a good enough photo it doesn't even need a filter okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take another photo that is from that same session and show you guys what I go ahead and do with Pixar and how I created the clouds so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Pixar right now open it up and I do want to mention they do have a premium version but you can also get the most out of the free version as well I'm using the free version I've always used the free version besides when I did the cloud photos you guys I did like a three-day trial and canceled it 
So um, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into that a little bit more. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click on this big plus button right here and open my camera roll. And here you can see your most recent photos, videos, replays. Um, you can make collages, you can have a template. Um, different backgrounds, blank backgrounds as well. So what I'm gonna do is open my photo up right here. Okay, so this is what the photo looks like before I add the clouds. Um, first things first is I click on effect. This crown right here is the premium filters. So you can do different effects like this. Grunge, Polaroid. This vinyl one looks so cute. It looks like a Lana Del Rey type of vibe. And honestly, I feel like this looks really good with this photo. Um, but yeah, you guys can take advantage of the three day trial. This is not sponsored in any way. I'm just showing y'all what I do. Um, but I think for when I edited these photos, I pr I'm pretty sure I clicked on bronze one which is right here, and then I just faded it a little bit just to kind of get this nice warm tone on my image, as you can see right there. I don't have the free three-day trial anymore, so I'm not gonna do it that way today. Um, today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on effects, and I'm gonna edit it a different way. So what I'm gonna do is click on film three and fade it out just a little bit, probably to around 70 and hit apply So this is before this is after it's kind of making the whites a little bit more neutral and me a little bit more golden and Now we're gonna go ahead and slide over to sticker and that is right here This is the easy part you guys you guys are gonna be shook with how easy it was to add these clouds so what I'm going to go ahead and type is transparent clouds. There we go. And you'll see right here a lot of different clouds. Okay, some of them don't look too good. <laughs> some of them um, are a little cartoony, but uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So I'm gonna scroll down. You're gonna have to try to play with this a little bit because some of them don't look right. But I'm gonna go ahead over here and it's very, very faint. You can barely see it. But this is a cloud I'm gonna click on. I'm fingers crossed that this is the right cloud. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger and I'm also gonna, okay, I'm so sorry you guys. I'm trying to like use the little cursor. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to click on these little triangle overlays right there. And then what that's going to bring up is a duplicate button. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Uh, I'm going to hit it a couple times, okay? And there we go. You're going to have a bunch of clouds everywhere. What you want to do to make this look the most uh, ethereal, nice, flowy, uh, just like atmospherical, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say, um, you're just gonna mess around with the clouds with the sizing and everything else, so you can do as much or as little as you want, um, you could play with the opacity as well, bring it down, have it a little faint, have some of them, um, just to kind of add some depth, you guys. You don't have to go too crazy if you don't want to, it's all your preference, but what's great about it is the fact that you can make it literally however you want. So some of these I'm going to make really, really big and it's going to look kind of crazy. But we want to have depth in this photo, we want to make it look nice and airy. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this. now. This looks a little crazy right now, but um, I'm going to show you guys this tool that really helps take advantage of these clouds and make it look really nice. So I'm going to click on one of these clouds. You can see a slight um, rectangle around this. So that's the cloud that's selected. It's really big. Um, you're going to go ahead and go right here to this eraser looking icon. When I click on that eraser icon, there is a little person right here. Um, 
This makes it so much easier than manually erasing it and it makes it look a lot more natural. Um, so I'm gonna click on this little person and as you can see, it's doing its little magic and there you go. So now I'm kind of peeping out of the clouds. I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept on that. And there's a cloud that's kind of in the way. It's right here. Okay, I'm gonna click on this cloud as well and I'm gonna hit the little people as well. There we go. And I'm gonna move this other one back how it was because I want myself to kind of peek through. You know what, We're, let's take this big one out. <laughs> See, this is like, this is what I do. This is how I edit my photos. Y'all wanted an editing video. This is how I do it. Um, I'm gonna have one of them slightly over me just like that. This one. A little bit right there. I think I might do eraser tool on that one as well. No, we're not. Okay. Okay, this needs to be like right here. And if you want to only erase part of something, click on the eraser tool and just erase it right there. Um, you can click on this right here, the eraser settings, and you can change the hardness and the size. So I typically bring the hardness down to about 12 and the size pretty big so that way when you erase it, it has this nice soft effect where it's not too harsh. And then you're just going to hit accept, just like that. And I think I might move this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, so once we have our clouds, you can add this step if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on sticker right here as well. Instead of transparent clouds, what I'm gonna type is yellow. Okay, there we go. So yellow, type yellow quote. This will help you so much easier. Um, and you'll go ahead and just find some different words right here. It'll go on for a while, like there's a lot of variety on this app. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and click right here on Angelic. So I'm gonna have it like right here towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna click on Shadow right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring a little bit of a shadow to that text to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And then we're gonna just hit Apply. So that's how I get the little text on there. Now the final thing I want to try with this image is a mask. So we're going to click right here on mask. So there's different types of things you can do. I'm going to click on dust, which is right here and see what it looks like with a couple different overlays. I like using the dust mask because it gives it more of like a vintage type of look. Um, nothing too crazy but it just helps add a little bit of character to the photo. Ooh, I think I like Dust 13. It's very subtle. You can kind of see a change on screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that, and then I'm gonna get my eraser brush, reduce the hardness and the size just a little bit, and make sure that there's nothing on my actual face in the photo. And then I'm gonna hit accept, and that's our final image you guys that's what i did for this picture as well as the other version of the clouds um like i said the color is a little different it's not as warm as my original version because i'm not gonna pay for the premium but you can still get away with getting that same look um once you're done you're gonna go up here and hit apply and everything will be saved down into one compressed image. That will, That is what it looks like. This is the before. Just an ordinary girl, you know, taking her selfies. And this is the after. Nice, dreamy. Um, you know, could have toned down some of the other clouds. But hey, this is what it looks like. You guys get the gist. Um, so I'm going to hit next. And then we're going to hit save. And download picture. And there you go. It's saved. 
All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know a lot of you guys really, really, really wanted to see this video, so I hope I didn't let you guys down. Um, but yeah, that is exactly how I go about editing my selfies and making myself portraits into more of a work of art. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 5K. I really appreciate all the love. If you guys thought this video was helpful in any way, then be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.